everyone, my name is Andrea Hutchison and I am an elite leader with Paparazzi Accessories, also a team leader of Team United Fashionistas. I'm super excited to share with you some tips today that are going to help you with social media and your Facebook account. We had the opportunity to go on a tour this 2018 and share different tips and tricks with other consultants to help their business boom. And this was one of my biggest trainings because I wanted to help so many people. Now let me tell you why you should be listening to me and why you should take advice from me. I am from another country. I'm originally from Peru. So when I first came to the United States back in June of 2007, I joined paparazzi in 2012 and I did not know the language. I had to learn the language on my own. And whenever I started on Facebook, my business on Facebook, I only had less than 50 friends on Facebook. And of course, we're only in the United States and Puerto Rico and Guam. Um, and so we cannot sell to them or I cannot promote to them. The company back then was all in English. They did not launch to Puerto Rico yet. So everything had to be in English. So I went from less than 50 friends on Facebook to close to 4,700 friends, and now with a following of over 8,000 people following me, not only uh, paparazzi consultants, but customers and other uh, people from other companies. So I do know how to build your business through a social media platform, and that's the reason why you need to listen to me, okay? So we're going to go into this, and I hope that you can share this content with other friends because this will really help their business, and I really want everybody to grow. I really want them to become one of the top consultants in their company. I want you to become a paparazzi elite consultant and be able to retire your husband, be able to go on trips, and be able to help other people. So let's listen up, get some paper and pen, and let's get started. Let's talk about branding yourself. Questions to answer to establish your brand. Here are the questions that I want you to answer right now. Who am I? What do I stand for? What is my mission statement? What are my interests, dreams, hopes, etc.? What is my brand as an individual? Creating a branding is super important if you want to succeed on social media. You cannot brand yourself until you understand who you are. See, the thing here is that many people join a different direct sales company and they think that they are the company and that's not true. Your brand is not the company. Everybody has their own brand and you need to find out who you are because in this case, you are not paparazzi accessories. Okay, you are not Avon, you are not Mary Kay, you are not unique. They have created their brand, now you need to find your own brand. And by answering these questions, you're going to realize who you really are and who you want to be. Now, we are part of an amazing company called Paparazzi Accessories. And we are, we are part of them, but we are not they are not our brand. We represent them and we have to represent them the right way. But we are not paparazzi, okay? You are you, I am Andrea, and I'm gonna be who I am. One of the books that I really recommend to find out who your brand is, what your brand is, is Tribes by Seth Godin. And I highly recommend this book for those looking to establish your brand, okay? What is branding and just to make it more simple for you branding is sharing your journey with others branding is sharing your journey with others and we're gonna go into more depth into more into this okay people do not buy goods and services they buy relations stories and magic so let's talk about uncovering your personal brand shall we how can you uncover your personal brand? Uncovering your personal brand is a step one when it comes to branding yourself online. Personal branding is not an act or a show you put on for others. Your personal brand is you to be very core. The qualities and characteristics that compromise your personal brand are unmistakable. If I ask 10 members of your family how they will describe you, they will describe you by using a few keywords, right? 
This is what makes branding yourself so important. And to help you in this self-discovery phase, here are a few questions you are going to want to ask yourself. Consider these questions and then reflect on them and take your time in responding to them. What are my biggest strengths? Where are my passion areas? What makes me so unique? Once you have rolled up your sleeves and dug deep inside to find a substance that makes you uniquely you, you're halfway there. So understanding who you are is the jumping off point for the rest of this process. Actively work on becoming the best you possible. Number two, how to make your personal brand targeted. So once you have discovered your personal brand, those qualities and characteristics that make you authentic and passionate, the next step is the personal branding process is identifying your target market. Pinpointing your target market, you will be able to position your talents and skill set in the best way possible to land that dream job or close that sale or accomplish a state goal. So how do you determine your target? Who needs to know about your product or services? Who needs to know about our $5 jewelry? Furthermore, which types of people will be interested in using our product? Of these people, how many will be willing to shell out money for your product or service? Once you have identified these people, build your personal branding strategy around this specific niche. So how do you identify your competition? Well, understanding your competition is absolutely essential for your personal brand. Through understanding your competitors' core comp competencies, you are better able to position your abilities to fit your audience needs. And to take your skills even farther, you're able to do that while differentiating yourself from your competitors. Not only are you speaking the same language as your prospective customers, but you're providing a compelling, unique selling proposition on why they should choose you over your competitor. In this case, our competitors are Claire's, Macy's, Charming Charlie's, etc. But hello, we have $5 jewelry, and our jewelry is nickel lead and cadmium free so we have an amazing product you know one of the reasons why i joined paparazzi is because hello we can buy this jewelry from china and in peru is actually even cheaper i can even start my own company of jewelry and it will be really cheap to just sell the jewelry but here's the thing our jewelry is nickel and lead free the product from Target, from Macy's, from Charming Charlie's, from Claire's, they're not nickel and lead free. And the jewelry is more expensive. It makes you itch. You, you get a rash, and that's what I used to get. That's why I didn't wear jewelry as much, because I thought I can only use gold and silver. But no, with paparazzi, I can wear the jewelry. I don't look like grandma with my ears, you know, all the way to the floor. I can actually wear the jewelry and feel confident with it. So you need to create a brand statement. Based on the above steps, create one or two sentences as your brand and mission statement that, that of who you are, what you do, and how you are different. Use this personal brand statement tips, okay? So number three, nurture your network. And how do you do that? You should consistently engage your audience via social media and provide and create relevant content for your audience that highlights your expertise. You are the jewelry lady. You know what you're talking about. You know tips and tricks on how to storage your jewelry, how to change the jewelry, how to keep the jewelry um, without getting bad. How do you... For example, how to put clothing with jewelry. You are the jewelry lady. You are the expert. With the right platform, you are able to disseminate the content to your audience with one click. Building a platform and nurturing and growing a community are rocket fuel for your personal brand. Remember, when you are starting your personal brand through your social media account, through Facebook, make sure that you set 
your sentence into public posts and people for people to follow you. All you have to do is go to settings and then go on to public posts and see how it says who can follow me. It says friends and it says public. Make sure that you click on the option public, no friends. This is a pl public platform. You need to reach out as many people as you can. And people need to comment on your posts. People need to get notifications. And people can like everything that you post on your posts. Here's my profile. Be the brand. If your business is something you do and not your lifestyle, people will be less likely to be sold on this opportunity. Your social media persona needs to come through your posts and be reflected on your profile. You need to ask yourself, is this a profile that inspires and motivates me? If the answer is no, you need to revamp it. You only have six seconds for people to say, do I want to be friends with this lady or no? And if all they see is just selling, selling, selling and just paparazzi or a company that you're in, they are most likely not to accept your friend request. You need to be somebody that influences people and knows what you want, you know what you are, and you know what you want. As you can see also here, we have all the different, um, all the different Instagram, Twitter, all the different social media accounts. I really don't use Twitter, but see, I have to be everywhere so that I can have access to all the people on social media. So I have a Twitter account, I have an Instagram account, I have a, a YouTube account. So make sure that you set your settings on public, like I said. Be sure your profile picture is a cute picture of your smiling face, let's go back to that. Now remember, you are not your family, you are not a dog, you are not an emoji, you are not a graphic, you are you. And this is like a resume, okay, for others to find. Make sure your cover photo is something you love, such as family, maybe something inspirational, maybe a quote, or maybe your favorite vacation spot. Make sure you edit your description. And how do you do that? Include a few words to describe you. Use emojis for bonus points. Set up your feature photos. Make them five things you love. This is where you can add your uh, traveling, kids, planners, makeup, maybe God in it. And if we go here, you set up your about section. Then you can add your website. Now remember, always remember, your Facebook profile is your storefront. What do you want people to feel when they come to your page? What things do you, what things do, you do the most? And share not only paparazzi, but your passions with your viewers. What do you want people to see on your page? What, you do, what do you want them to experience when they come to your page? Like I said, this is your storefront. Keep it clean, uplifting, positive, refreshing, educational, full of value, entertaining. And this will definitely keep new customers and prospects walking through the door. Branding is knowing what you stand for and bringing it to life. Be who you want to attract. So this is decision time. You need to treat Facebook as your workplace and be intentional. Public settings and, shares and share value to people. Make sure there's public on settings, okay? And so that when people share it, other people can find you and say, oh, I really like this girl because she's sharing positive and uplifting quotes and I really want to keep, you know, keep that in, in my newsfeed. I want you to understand that in order to develop a huge following, you will have to become vulnerable. And what does that mean? We were created for connection. Vulnerability is a key to connection. When you are genuine and authentic, people are drawn to you. Okay? You do not have to a strictly business profile. Do not have a strictly business profile.
If you only post business product pics, people will unfollow you quickly. Out of five pics you post, maybe three or four of them needs to be inspirational and motivational, anything you are passionate about. People are looking to be inspired. They don't want to feel like they're being sold, right? Don't be this girl. Here is an Avon rep and I took out all of the names because I don't want to blush, you know, blush her or whatever. But you don't want to be this. You look at the profile, all you see is Avon, 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 and everything that she sells. Maybe this is you. Maybe you are a paparazzi consultant and all you have, even your profile picture is all paparazzi related. You are selling instead of connecting with people. Don't be that girl. You need to get creative. You need to sell the dream. Dream. You need to add a feeling to your post. Add emojis. Be positive. Be uplifting. People want to be with someone that inspires them and influences them. I really recommend only posting high definition graphics and pictures. And when I talk about graphics, I am not asking you to go onto Pinterest and repost what you found. I want you to recreate it. I want you to take your own pictures. You don't need a fancy camera. All you need is your phone. People are attracted to high quality pictures. I use programs like PixArt, Warswag is one of my favorites, Typerama as well, Ronda Design, and I just up you know, with that, you jazz up your work from home pics and motivational, inspirational pics. Yes, it does take time, but a high quality profile is what you will need to attract new followers and to retain them. Here are some pictures, and these are pictures taken from my phone. All I use is my desk. So if I can do this type of pictures on my phone, you can't too. I really don't want to get into this, but we can't have negativity on social media. Do not have negativity on social media. Keep your profile free from negativity. If you're having a bad day, no one needs to know about that, okay? Social media is an extension of who you are. And to be an excellent leader, you must work on becoming the best version of yourself possible. You need to continue to grow as an individual daily. One of my favorite mentors is Bob Hiley, Carrie Wilkerson, John and Nadia Melton, John Maxwell, Eric Ward, and I find them on YouTube, I find them on Facebook, I follow them, and I just get inspired by all their content. Your leadership abilities will be reflected on your post by the way you live your life. People want to join a team with a solid leader. And in order to be such a leader, you must continue to grow, and that growth will be evident to others. You figure out your brand, your interests, your hopes, your dreams, and mission statement. Now it's time to grow your audience. How do you do that? The number one problem with most network marketers is that they continue to post the same stuff on Facebook without any thought to expanding into the cold market. Facebook has 216 million people in the U.S. for we can warm. And we know that there's two more, more people on Facebook, but just on those territories that paparazzi is in, which is U.S. for we can warm. So there is zero reason as to why anyone will claim you run out of people to talk to. The only way you run out of people to talk to is if you stay on your wall, don't do live, don't add value to others, and just post about your life and your products. Are you posting on Facebook and seeing no results? How many groups are you part of? Are you acting in those, active in those groups building connections? Are you doing lives? Are you looking to add value to others? Are you doing lives and sharing those into the corresponding Facebook group, boosting both views and growing your influence, or are you just posting on your wall? You need to join interest groups on Facebook and start building friendships. What are, inter are you interested in? Are you interested in makeup? Maybe 
biking, maybe Pilates. Find the groups and go make friends. Try to add at least 10 new people per day to your personal Facebook and expose them to your lifestyle, aka business. So with this subject, I do want to get into this a little bit more. We cannot share our sales, Facebook Live sales, into interest groups because it's selling. We need to find a way and be creative. Maybe you like to do DIYs. Maybe you like to do your hair. Do a live video and then share it into the right group. You are part of those groups because you're given, you're exposing yourself and you're giving value to people in the corresponding group. So make sure you do that and then people are going to start to following you. They're going to start to follow you. They're going to start to say, oh, I love this girl. She's giving me great tips. I can connect with her. I love her personality. That's what interest groups are for. Those are some things I want you to think about if you truly want to become an influencer. It is about connecting with people, not in a weird I am going to send you a request and spam you kind of way either, okay? Go join as many interest groups as you can find on Facebook that you're interested about. If you don't like makeup, don't join makeup groups, okay? You need to start networking through your interest and not leading with your business. We are networkers. We network with people. We build relationships with people. Don't be this kind of person. <laughs> That's what makes me laugh. Uh, but this is just a graphic, and then the content in there is funny. Uh, but don't post graphics. Graphics are not going to get you anywhere. Actually, Facebook, you know, flags that as a spam, so don't do it. You need to be creative and don't use graphics. Recreate them instead. Maybe you found a YouTube video. One of the persons that I follow is Wendy, and she does Tip Tuesday. I recreated the video. She showed me how to do something. I learned it. Now I'm going to recreate because my customers, my friends, my people are connected with me because of my personality, not because of Wendy. Okay? And if we share Wendy, then they're going to fall in love with Wendy and we want them to fall in love with us, right? So you need to recreate the content. Be creative. So let's talk about your Facebook news feed. You want your Facebook news feed to be as clean as possible and I'm going to help you do that. Because of the algorithms on Facebook, now they're saying that only personal uh, friends and personal stuff is going to be showing to people. So I really recommend creating lists. How do you do that? You go down on your left and where it says friends list, you can create a list. I have a list for my team leaders. I have a list for my customers. I have a list for new friends, for paparazzi business, for my personally sponsor. I add all of the paparazzi sisters into the paparazzi business and I unfollow them because I don't want my newsfeed to be full of co-workers such as paparazzi consultants. I want my newsfeed to be full of people I want to connect with, which are my customers. The other thing about adding new friends on Facebook is that I really don't recommend going into the suggested friends list. Okay? Do not add people because some of those suggested friends may be friends with other uh, paparazzi Maybe you're friends with a paparazzi sister, and so it's going to suggest their customers, and then they're going to think that you are still in their customers where you're not doing it on purpose. They just came up as suggested friends, so don't do that. Instead, go into your friends list, select a friend that's not a paparazzi consultant, and go into their friends list and add friends from that. The other thing that I recommend is the see first option. You click Besides friends, it says see first, and you can click on that for people that you want to follow uh, and you want to keep in touch with, and you can do up to 30 people. So I follow people that motivate me, such as other different leaders, such as Carrie Wilkerson, such as Bob Hiley, such as John Melton, all of those um, coaches and all of those people that inspire me, maybe other leaders, top leaders 
with other companies. I follow them. I follow top leaders within our company, just a few because I only have up to 30 people, people that inspire me and motivate me. Those are the ones that I see first. And those will appear on my news feed because here's the thing, Facebook wants you to stay the longest time on Facebook, okay? They really, they want to make sure anyone, when they see the stuff, they stay there as long as possible because Facebook wants to keep people in longer, okay? So that's one of the ways. Make sure that you unfollow coworkers, in this case, paparazzi consultants, in this case, people that are on the same company as you, maybe you are with Avon or Mary Kay or Unique. Stop following those people. So click on follow. Nobody is going to know that you unfollow them. You're still friends with them. Okay, but you need to build relationships. Make sure that when you accept friend requests, try to accept people uh, that are not in your company. Try to accept people that are customers instead, people that you admire. Those are the friends you want to have, not some co you know, not some coworkers. And build relationships with people. That's what network marketing is about. So this is great. Best times to post on social media is between 8 in the morning, okay? Some people just got up out of bed, so you have to post right away. And then the popular time for Facebook is between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. On the weekends, it's great after 11 a.m. because people tend to get up later. So make sure that you post early in the morning, such as 8 o'clock in the morning, before everybody goes into work, before everybody leaves and not gets into social media, okay? The other thing that I love is memories. Sometimes you run out of content and you want to be inspired again. You can go back to your memories and repost that, but you do not share it, okay? You don't share stuff. Uh, you save the image and then you repost it. Make sure that you're commenting on people. You really want to comment on people. You want to reply. You want to have a conversation with them within your post. You don't want to have the conversation on Messenger. You want to have it on, on your Facebook wall. That way Facebook, you know, cl it clicks to Facebook that you are friends with them and they really want to see your content. They really want to see what you're doing, okay? Make sure you also hide your friends list. And I have another video on how to hide your friends list because that's very important. So some of the tips to give you to reach uh, in more Tips to get more reach in the Facebook algorithm is don't use engagement bait, which is just saying um, comments, you know, come join my party, $5 jewelry, soul, and all of this stuff where you're selling or share or tag your friends. Does engagement bait and Facebook does not like that. Facebook likes emojis, Facebook likes emotions, Facebook likes uh, posts that are original. So make sure that you keep it that way. You also want to go for comments. The more comments you have, and one of the things that I recommend is once you post, that you comment after maybe an hour or two, and then you comment after an hour or two, uh, because you want to keep it going. Even the next day, you can still respond to the comments for people. Also, whenever you're posting an album, um, selling your jewelry on your business page and you share it into your VIP group, make sure you wait um, maybe 90 minutes to two hours before you reshare it somewhere else. You need to comment and then um, share it on purpose. You have to work on purpose on Facebook. This is not, this is the big leaks people, okay? We have, we are grown ups and Facebook is our platform to work not a platform for you to just waste your time and scroll, 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 okay? You connect with people on purpose. And then use video, especially live videos. Facebook loves live videos and they want you to use live videos. So make sure that you're sharing value and content that people are gonna benefit from that. So thank you so much. If you have any more questions, please comment below. 
uh, please interact with people use your VIP groups use your fan page use your profile don't sell 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 make sure that you're creative and I hope this video has been a help to you and if you need anything please comment below and we'll stay in touch thank you